right, what's going on everybody? It's Toronto Guy here. It's time for Cooking with, or Toronto Guy Cooks, that's the name of it. Uh, today, we are going to be cooking some salmon in the pan with some pasta with some Dijon on it. Because Dijon ain't just for uh, sandwiches and subs and shit. You can use it for, well, I'm going to show you how you can use it. First, see we got the, the salmon here, a lovely Atlantic salmon. What you do, what I've done is I've scored it. So I've cut a few bits into the salmon. Put some salt in the little uh, slots, and uh, there we go. Now what this does is when you cook it in the pan, see what we're going to do is we're going to cook this, the salmon mostly skin side down. It's going to spend most of its time cooking skin side down, and the, the scoring keeps the skin from falling off, and it's going to taste amazing and lovely. We got the water for the pasta boiling. Throw in some corkscrew. I thought I had penne, but I don't. But what you're going to do, I mean, it's, it's pasta. It's just, you know, however... Uh, they shape it and stuff. So we're gonna let that cook for about seven to nine minutes. And we got the olive oil. We got about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. That's extra virgin. Not only has the olive oil not had sex, it's never gonna have sex. So here's what, what we're gonna do. And remember, you wanna get it hot, about med just a little more than medium heat until it's about smoking and it's just about right right now. And we're gonna spend most of its time cooking on the skin. So here we go. We're gonna do this. Get ready for the awesome sizzleness, baby. Love it. Press down on it. Keep it flat for a little bit. All right. Looking good. Now, don't touch it for like four minutes. You might be tempted to be like, but Toronto guy. No, trust me. The skin can handle it. It's fine. Once these sides get about two thirds up of the side of the salmon, gets that nice cook color. Then we're gonna flip it, cook it on the other side for about one minute. But before we do that, let's uh, stir this a little more. Don't want the, the pasta to be all mucky and stuff. Now, we are going to add a little salt on the top of the salmon, the salmon flesh. You can put any spice in there you want. You know what I mean? You can just put salt and pepper, you can put garlic, you can put fresh herbs, whatever you want, baby. But just let it sit. Just don't worry about it, let it sit. Now while we're letting it sit and do its thing, let's keep giving this a stir so it don't end up all mushy. Now as I said, we're gonna add some Dijon to the, to the I was gonna say penne, it's not penne, to the corkscrew. Now, there's a lot of different kinds of Dijon. For example, I have seven different kinds. Here's what we have today. We have, it's all Coslix, Canadian made baby, Canadian made. Buy local, support your local businesses. Let's make sure the oil keeps flowing around. We got curry Dijon, which is amazing. We have herbed rosemary. We also have sweet and smoky Dijon. Yeah, baby. Ooh, we also have Italian mostada. Not just any mostada, Italian mostada. Uh, what else we got? We've got sweet and smoky. Didn't I already show you this? I think I did. Uh, we have German, as in Merkel. Uh, we, oh, and we have two more here. We have triple crunch, which is mu mustard seeds in an awesome little vinaigrette sauce. And we have Dijon classic today. Since most of these are still sealed and not open, we're gonna use one that I've already opened. We're gonna use the curry, baby. Curry Dijon corkscrew pasta with salmon. It's been about two minutes. Everything's fine. Everything's looking good. It's getting up there, baby. Oh. And we're also gonna add some uh, cherry tomatoes to our corkscrew pasta and some fresh spinach. We're gonna, what we're gonna do is when the pasta's ready, take the water, Dump it out over the spinach so it wilts. Add some color, some greens to it. And then we're gonna put it back in the pot. Add our Dijon. And we're gonna just enjoy life, okay? So it's been about two minutes. Keep going, it's looking good. People might be freaking out. Toronto guy, Toronto guy, no, you're gonna kill the salmon. The salmon's already been killed, trust me. The, uh, the skin can handle it, okay? And the skin is gonna be crispy, it's gonna be amazing. Awesome, 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 awesome. Hey. You, don't even, you can also use the, uh, I've done this before, use Dijon to glaze the salmon. Seriously, use Dijon. It's not just for hot dogs and sandwiches and subs. Use it as a glaze for your pasta. Use it as a glaze for your fish. Use it as a chicken glaze. Eat it out of the jar if you be so bold and whatever. So there we go, it's looking good so far. It's getting up there, it's getting up to the sides, looking lovely. Remember, just leave it, leave it alone. Leave it alone, everything's fine, everything's lovely. Let's keep giving this a stir. Don't want it to be mushy now. Just got enough in here for about one person, since I'm one person. Now some people out there might be saying, well, Toronto guy, 
Salmon's not exactly cheap, you know. Well, of course it's not cheap. It's salmon. This is Atlantic salmon. But you can... As somebody who used to be a fat slob and used to eat garbage, cheap garbage, that cheap garbage, guess what it would do? Nothing. The body would turn it into fat. I get fat. And when you get fat, you get tired. And when you get tired, what do you do? You eat more shit. You keep eating more shit and keep getting tired and eat more shit. And guess what? You've just messed up your entire life. So what I've learned, and I'm a, I'm a perfect example of this, I am proof. You eat healthy, you eat real food. It might be more expensive to cook, but damn it, you end up eating less because your body uses it for energy and you don't eat as often. I have saved a ton of money since eating real food. Okay, it's been about uh, four minutes. It's time to flip the salmon on its other side. All right, here we go. Get ready for this. Get ready for more sizzly. Oh yeah. Look at that, baby. Look at that, baby. And now we're gonna turn the heat off. We're gonna let the salmon cook in the oil. It looks burnt, doesn't it? Trust me, it's not. It's awesome, it's fine. Salmon skin, when it's crispy, is lovely. Now I hope the camera is getting my voice properly. Because, you know, not exactly the best setup here. Because, you know, people are like, Toronto guy, you gotta make cooking videos. And I'm like, sure, so I make cooking videos. And the cooking videos get less views than the videos when I'm trashing feminism and stuff. So come on, people, share the videos. Share the love. Share the love. And heck, give me money too. Maybe if you give me money as well, I'll be more inclined to make more videos more often. But here we go. This is, like I said, this is sad. This is what the, this is the kind of stuff that the the woman folk who decided that they didn't have to put any effort into getting to know Toronto guy when Toronto guy played the dating scene. This is the kind of thing they're missing out on. Awesomeness. They could have had this for nothing. That's the kind of person I was. I'd be like, I'm gonna cook you this, and you don't have to pay me nothing. Just don't be a bitch. But there we go. So there we go. It should be just about good now. How's it looking? Oh, it's looking awesome. Now we're gonna remove it from the heat. Let it sit in the pan, in the oil. Soak up all that extra virgin olive oil because everybody loves virgins, right? <laughs> so the pasta looks just about ready. Let's give a taste of one little thingy noodle. I don't like using spoons in my rock pans because I don't want to scratch or nothing, but you can't really use a spatula for this part, so you gotta take one out, give it a taste, see if it's to your liking. Get the hell out there. It's done, baby. Okay, so. Salmon is still salmoning on the skin part to just keep the crispiness and the moisture. Everything's off on the oven, on the stove. Now we're going to, as I said, we're gonna take the water, dump it over the spinach. The spinach is gonna wilt. It's gonna be awesome, it's gonna add color, and then we'll be right back after these messages. All right, so the water's been dumped over the spinach. The spinach is wilting, getting lovely. Pasta's awesome. Pour it in there, give it a little shake up. Get rid of the uh, rest of the spinach. Now, of course, spinach doesn't really taste like anything, but you gotta add some color to your food, you know? I'm a believer that if food looks good, it manages to taste even better. And Toronto Guy's regular food tastes awesome, so when it looks good, it tastes awesome. Err. Add a little olive oil. Shake it up a bit. I love my rock pans. Love them. Let's throw in those cherry tomatoes. Just a few. Cherry tomatoes are full of flavor, more flavor than your regular tomatoes, because it's like a whole bunch of tomatoiness jammed inside the little cherry tomato. And now it's time for the Coslix Curry Dijon. Now, how much do you use depends on your own preference. Some people think, or like Dijon is like just too bitter and shit for them, so they only like a little. Heh. I like a, a little bit more than a little. Uh, so that's about uh, one and a half tablespoons. Let's give it a mix. Yeah, baby. Oh, I can smell it. You know when you when you smell something really awesome, and then you, it feels like your 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 something in your tongue just exploded, and it starts watering in there, and it's almost tingly. Oh my God, that's what it's like right now. Oh, I wish you could smell this, but you can smell it if you try it on your own. See, simple to cook. How long was this? Like ten minutes, and we're ready. Ten minutes, and we're ready, Eddie. So hey, let's get that start plating. Here we go. Shake it up a little more, and have a lovely dinner for Toronto guy, and you can have a lovely dinner too. Here we go. 
just a little bit there, a little bit there, have it nice and placed. You don't have to do it this way. Some people don't like plating all nice. I do, because I like taking pictures of it. Now we're gonna add our salmon with its crispy skin, baby. Crispy freaking skin. It looks burnt, it's not. It's friggin' awesome tasting. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let me try something before I place it. Oh, that's hot. Huh. Uh, where's a knife, where's a knife? Give me some. I want to see if you can hear the crispy of the skin. Let's see if you can hear it. Awesome. And it tastes even awesomer. All right, so let's plate it. Make it all look lovely. There we go. Simple as that. Simple as that, everybody. Salmon with curry Dijon penne. What I'm going to do is take this when I'm done recording the video, take a picture and insert the picture since the, the lighting in here isn't exactly awesome. Let's insert the picture now. So there you go, salmon with curry Dijon, pasta, cherry tomatoes, spinach, which are optional, still easy to make, live, uh, e e eat properly, when you eat well, you feel better, you don't feel like shit after eating garbage, I guarantee you, you will save money when you eat real food. So experiment, not only with your Dijons, I don't know if uh, you Yankees, have these kind of different varieties of Dijon down there. As I said, this, these Dijons are a Canadian place. But look around. Heck, use regular mustard. I've done that before. I've put mustard on a steak for seasoning before with some cinnamon and some pepper. Turned out awesome because the tanginess of the mustard and the sweetness of the cinnamon balanced out amazingly. I'm rambling when I should be eating. This has been Toronto Guy. Toronto Guy has cooked and so can you. Eat better, live better, be uh, whatever you want in life. Inspirational memes, blah, 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 blah. Thanks for coming. Give me money.